I am using a silicone based lubricant uh, to uh, to make it last longer the lubrication the um, this is sort of lubricant is used on um, for example on bicycle chains it will not hold dirt as easily as a WD-40 for example uh, and will provide a long lasting uh, protection against corrosion Check the smooth operation of the uh, throttle plate. Uh, lubricate the spring. Now we will have to tune the TPS again. Tighten it just enough so that the bolt will uh, hold the TPS in place, but will not uh, uh, tight, tighten very hard. Insert a 0.50 millimeters uh, filler gauge blade into the throttle uh, stopper bolt, as I show here. And then insert a couple of leads of your multimeter in the top two connectors of the TPS. So I have tuned now the TPS to the point where if uh, I remove the, the filler gauge blade, the numbers will not be uh, infinity meaning of this uh, number is that there is an open circuit in these uh, two um, pins. If I remove the gauge blade, look what happens. See, it will start recording resistance. But if I put the gauge blade back in place. will record infinite resistance. The filler gauge blade is there to, for to making that to make that uh, um, like dead dead the spot in uh, which the ECU will know that the um, the throttle plate will be fully closed. Now we just have to uh, tighten the bolts. Be very careful tightening this. Not to move the TPS. As you can see, behavior continues. I put filler gauge blade and it is infinite. So we can see that the TPS is properly tuned. Now finish tightening this. And it's properly tuned. With the gauge blade it's infinite, without the gauge blade it will start recording resistance. So that's it for the TPS tuning. And now we have the, the throttle body fully serviced with a 
new gasket, clean idle control valve, tuned TPS and a full lubrication all around. Now it's ready to go in the car.